Hi everyone, how you doing? Um, right, today's video is a quick video about the dreaded shanks. Now, I've had quite a lot of people this season coming to me with this dreaded disease that we don't like to talk about. But why do you shank? What is actually happening? And do you know why you're shanking? Because there's loads of different reasons. So instead of guessing, I want to just get a few facts now in the room if you're watching this video, so you know exactly what is actually physically happening when you hit the, the heel and the shank of the, of the club. Now, what's happening is this, is the path of the club and the center of the face is moving from the center of the ball at a dress outwards away from the body. This is one way that you shank it, one of the most uh, common that I see. There are other ways of doing it and I'll go through those in a minute But this is one of the main reasons what I see as a coach uh, to causing a shank And what actually happens is from the address position Let's presume that the static position the address position is correct ie your distance from the ball is your your personal distance that you you normally stand from the ball Let's say your weight is nice and stable 50 50 and everything's online so what is happening here? Well, what normally I see happening is after the top of the backswing is reached, the arms separate from the body and the club finds itself in front of the body too early, the club head. And in that moment, as soon as the club gets, gets basically thrown and pushed too early out in front of you, you're now trying to get the club back to the golf ball. So the path of the club is what we call from an outward, I'm exaggerating this just to illustrate, but from the outside pulling in. And if you don't compensate and pull in in time, then the club will hit the ball in the shaft because it's, it's just too difficult to repeat this movement. Okay, so when you're practicing, I've got a little t tip for you. This is how I get most of my guys who, who when they've got a period where they shank the balls, then I get them to practice this way. So I've got three balls here, okay? I've got three different colored golf balls here just for the point of this video, okay? Now the yellow ball is gonna be the ball in play. The white ball and the pink ball I'm gonna place right next to it. So we've got a row of three golf balls here in a row. Now the object here is to move the white ball from the center, from the middle here, which is one ball's width. And now I've got a little gap of a ball's width between the yellow ball and the pink ball. And what's gonna happen now, if I hit this ball correctly, I'm not gonna strike the pink ball. Whereas if I get the club out of path, swinging to the left, I'm gonna, if I shank it, I'm gonna hit both balls at once. Okay, so the, the, the object here is to not hit the pink ball, okay? So I'm just gonna try this. So we've got the yellow ball is the ball in play, the pink ball is one to help me realize where the club head is, and I'm gonna strike this one. That's a lovely clean shot there, and the club head came past the pink ball. The toe of the club missed the ball, which is a ball's width apart from there. Okay, so what, to do that, what I want you to make sure, a little tip there to, to feel the right motion, is in the downswing transition, this is the key thing for you guys, for the cure. Once you get to the top of your backswing, what I want you to feel is that your arms are swinging closer to the chest on the downswing. This is gonna keep the club head behind the, the body on the way down, on the transition, and get you on a much stronger path from the inside, okay? And then at impact, your, the, the difference in the feeling is that your arms will feel more married to your chest. So I'll do that again. So you've got your setup, make the back swing, and the feeling change is that your arms from the top of the swing come to the chest as you're turning back to the ball, and you're gonna feel here that your arms are married to your chest, feeling much closer. That's gonna be your feeling, because normally you're this way. If you're shanking it with a path shank, which is out to in, to extreme, your arms are in the downswing, away from the body. It's throwing the club this way. 
What I want you to feel is the club going down first. I just explained that once again with the club in my hand. Once you get to the top, guys, I want you to feel the arms dropping down. Feel the elbows going down towards the body. The elbow now is nice and tucked into that hip and the club's coming on a much better path from where you can attack the ball from the inside, squaring the face up, and then you will swing through that gap and miss that second ball. Okay, so keep them arms connected to the body when you strike it, and then let them flow through to the target. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. Anyone with any shanking problems, if you're not in the Cambridge area, go and see your local pro and find out why it is that you're shanking, what is the reason why you're shanking the ball, what's actually happening in your swing, and get it sorted out. Don't let it beat you guys. You can do it, you know you can. Uh, happy practicing, enjoy the rest of the season, and hopefully see you all soon for the next one. Thanks, bye-bye now.